Every January, millions of people set big goals, and by week two, nearly all of them completely collapse. This isn't because you're lacking discipline. It is because your brain is being hijacked. And unless you understand this, your year resets, but your brain and life don't. I'm Dr. Trish Lee, cognitive neuroscientist, and today I'm going to show you the neuroscience behind why your goals fail and how to rewire your brain so this year is actually different. Let's start with the hijack. Each year, the calendar changes, but your nervous system doesn't. If anything, it enters into January already overwhelmed and overstimulated. This leads to what I call the algorithm hijack. You can see it here as a very large phasic dopamine spike. When you wake up and you check your phone, your brain is instantly pulled back into competing dopamine loops, all from the screen, none of them from your life. Your algorithm is trained by you and it knows exactly how to hijack your attention. Your goals, now they require long-term effort, but your brain is being trained by the specific apps or the specific streaming services that you use to choose short-term stimulation. This, my friend, is the hijack. It's the dopamine-driven part of your brain that leads to fragmentation of your identity. You feel stressed. You feel frustrated, exhausted, confused, numb. You feel pulled back into the screen. You feel scattered and reactive. You feel unmotivated, not because you're flawed, but because your brain is overstimulated before you even start the day. It is caught in a loop. This time of year can be completely overstimulating. This is my precious family. We've had to intentionally make sure that we're not being caught up in these loops. It's these external forces that will pull you in. This is us together at church, which they actually had a photo booth, believe it or not. But when you're motivated, you may not realize that you're swimming upstream, that your brain isn't cooperating with you. So you set goals and instead of being able to accomplish them, you're pulled back in. So let me show you now the hijack. The hijack is the accumulation in your nervous system of pathways that have been overstimulated for a long time. Your brain isn't just distracted, it's miswired. You can see from this part of the model that the reward pathways are overstimulated. The reward center in your brain is constantly signaling from all the dopamine and it wants more dopamine. This is the essence of the loop that you're caught in. At the same time, the prefrontal cortex shuts down. It's the seat of planning, of decision-making, of self-control. It goes dark. When these two areas don't work, it leads to two types of brain maps. One I call strained brain, too fast, too anxious, too overwhelmed. The other I call drained brain, too slow, foggy, unmotivated. It leads to sexual arousal dysfunction, namely ED, what I call sad. So this is why your goals collapse. Fatigue, distraction, irritability, anxiety, emotional flatness. What we need for this miswire is a rewire. And then with it comes the identity shift. That's what these new year goals are about. You want to be something better, something new. To do that, you have to do new things. So this is how we end up with what I consider the miswire loop. It's overstimulation that leads to a trigger. That trigger leads to more overstimulation, which then makes you want short-term relief. And then, of course, a crash, many times shame, many times avoidance. But because of long-term depletion where this battery, I made this image, this battery is just going down, you're triggered again. 
The trigger could be environmental. It can be emotional states. But this is the good part. The benefit is that that neurorigid pattern, it can be improved through the wonders of neuroplasticity. So your goals don't have to feel like an uphill battle. When you reduce the hijack, staying away from the screen, your brain can reorganize quickly. That's what I call unwiring. But Conscious rewiring is necessary for this miswiring to go away permanently for that long-term hardwire. We want your prefrontal cortex to light back up so that your focus stabilizes. We want you to be able to follow through naturally instead of in a forced way. To be able to do that, science says we must get to the other side. There's a scientific study that shows that especially when it comes to explicit matter, the brain becomes hijacked, the prefrontal cortex and the reward centers, their structure decreases and their function. Explicit matter is at the top of what are called supernormal stimuli. It releases over 400% over baseline dopamine spike like you saw on that first slide. Those spikes must be diminished. So to be able to do that, we must enter into that rewire. And this is what I want you to know. This can be your year, my friend. This is the year you stop outsourcing your identity, the algorithm, and you start living from the inside out. That is that innate purpose and passion and being able to cap the hijack and get back to rewiring. It looks like this clearer patterns, less need for that dopamine spike. You can see in this blue that we see, there's lower levels of baseline tonic dopamine and lower need for spikes. That spike isn't there anymore. No spike, no dopamine dependency. That's what we're talking about. This is the rewire. What it leads to is regulation in the brain. When your brain is dependent on those dopamine spikes, it's dysregulated. We can identify that in QEEG brain mapping. That's what I do all day, every day. Strain brain looks like the red and yellow. Drain brain looks like the blue. There's too much or too little of that healthy electrical brain pattern. I call it the green zone when the brain becomes regulated. This is a trend screen of a client that I'm currently working with. Alpha is the speed that helps you shift into neutral to feel calm. From excessive dopamine, it goes excessively high. It's supposed to be around one. Here in this person at the beginning, it was up at 2.86 is the highest spikes. But you can see in just two and a half months, slow alpha's coming down, down, down. High beta, that's drain brain, high beta, the speed of strained brain is also too high. We want to see it at 0.5. Here you can see their spikes over 1.5, more than triple, but you also can see that it is reducing in just two and a half months. This, my friend, is the rewire. And what I want you to know is if you can't do this rewire with your mind and your body, there's technology and professionals like myself who can help you. This is the most advanced way of rewiring your brain. And if you want a different year, you absolutely need a different brain pattern that is accomplishable with technology and then using your mind and your body. We want to decrease neurorigidity, increase neuroplasticity, and rewire this brain so you can hardwire it in so that you can create the life that you want and you deserve. So here's your brain hack strategy for the day. You must build goals that beat the algorithm. Your brain doesn't choose what's important. It chooses what's immediately rewarding. So you have to break down that path of least resistance into the screen and make it so the path of least resistance is into your life. We're going to do it by a strategy that I call the reverse and shrink. The reverse and shrink works like this. First, you must create 30 minutes of quiet each morning before your brain gets going. I know you're thinking you might not be able to do it, but yes, you can. And your life depends on it. If you want a new year, you must shift your brain into the default mode network and stop filling it with constant passive content, especially that content that's at the upper echelon of supernormal stimuli, 400% explicit matter. You need to create quiet. Then you want to reverse engineer the life that you want to create. You have to figure out what is it? What do you want your life to look like? 
then figure out what the small steps are to accomplishing it. We're not going to go into that here. That's part of the program that I offer. You can go check it out at drtrishlee.com, the masterclass. But here, figure out what your goals are and then reverse engineer it and start small. Shrink it to the very smallest thing that you can do right now and go do it. And after you do it, reward yourself. So I'm working on the nonprofit with my son, Declan, who you saw in our Christmas picture. And it has been a lot of um, bureaucratic things in our way. It has not been easy. And we just shrink it down to what has to happen today to move us forward. We had a big win the other day and we're on the precipice of another, but we've got another fence in our way. So we've got to keep chipping away. You have to do the opposite action of what you want to do. If you want to go to the screen, you have to go to your life. And then keep going. This is about delayed gratification, which will be new for the brain instead of instant gratification. That's why you have to reward your brain for doing it. So here's the solution. Getting into your life and finding joy there, not just pleasure. These are the socks that Seamus bought Sersha. I know they're a TikTok trend, but they are literally adorable. We spent Christmas morning together and Seamus said he didn't do a good job on his Christmas gifts, but they were all really thoughtful. And these socks are so funny, right? They're so cute. Search warm immediately. This is how you can use technology to improve your life. That's what we're talking about here. It's a tool. You should be using it to move you towards your goals, not away. So think about that. So in summary, we're talking about the algorithm is hijacking your brain. If you're using it with frequency, consistency, duration, or intensity, think explicit matter, it leads to strained brain, which is stress and anxiety. It leads to drain brain, which is lack of motivation, depression, and sexual arousal dysfunction. It leads you away from your goals. You must rewire your brain using your mind and body. And of course, you can use technology if you want to get there faster. So if you do, Go check out drtrishlee.com. You can meet with me. The first step, if you want, is a consultation. I'm an initial client consultation. We meet privately and we figure out a plan. Then you can move forward and have your brain mapped. You can see all the areas and the levels of dysfunction. And then we set that plan in motion together. So I want you to remember, it's imperative that you control your brain or it will control you. This is Christmas Eve. Sersh is making cookies for Santa. Seamus is building a charcuterie meat and cheese gingerbread house. Declan, in fact, is cashing his check from grandma and grandpa. Time together, laughing, enjoying each other. So remember, as you set your New Year's goals, please make sure they're moving you toward the life that you want and you deserve. So stay tuned and join me on Tuesday for another video because we are going to rock out our best year ever, one small step at a time. I'll see you there.